Hi, I'm Ellie, and this is the Tech Tricks channel. In today's video, I have an exciting topic for all the spreadsheet lovers. I'm going to show you how to auto sync data from Excel to Google Sheets. With this powerful technique, you need no more manual copying and pasting. Okay, grab your coffee and let's get started. Sometimes you have data in Excel that you want to share or analyze in Google Sheets. But manually updating it can be a hassle. By the end of this tutorial, you'll know how to use Google Apps Script to set up automatic syncing between Excel and Google Sheets. Here's what you need. An Excel file with your data, a Google account to access Google Sheets, and don't worry, the coding part is simple and I'll guide you through it. Before we proceed, make sure your Excel file is ready. Here's what to do. Organize your data in a clean tabular format. For example, include headers like name, email, sales, or any data you want to sync. Save the file locally as CSV format. Then upload it to Google Drive. This step is crucial because the app script will access the file from your drive. Once your Excel file is in Drive, right click it, select Get Link, and ensure the file is set to anyone with the link or shared with your account. Copy the file ID from the link and you will need this for your code. Next, open Google Sheets and create a new spreadsheet. Name it something meaningful, like Sync Data. Keep it open because we'll need it soon. Now let's set up our app script. Go to Extensions tab, Apps Script. This is where we'll write the code that automates the syncing. I will write the code and then explain it to you. Here is the code you need. Don't worry, you can access the link to the code and sheet in the description. We begin with a function named Import Excel Data. This is where the entire process for transforming data from Excel to Google Sheets is handled. Next, we define two essential pieces of information. File ID is the unique identifier of your Excel file stored in Google Drive. To find it, simply copy the ID from the URL of your file. Sheet name is the name of the tab in your Google Sheets where you want to import the data. Here we use a try block to execute our code while being prepared to handle any potential errors. This ensures smooth execution and makes debugging easier. These lines are responsible for fetching and preparing the Excel data for you. At this stage, we perform a quick check to ensure the data is valid. If the file is empty or not formatted correctly, an error message will be generated to stop further execution. Now, we connect to Google Sheet. This fetches the specific tab where you want the data. If the tab doesn't exist, we threw an error so you can fix the sheet name. This is where the action happens. This line provides a confirmation message that the process completed successfully. You'll find this message in the app script log. Finally, we wrap up the try block with a catch block. 
This catches any errors, logs them for you, and retrieves them so you can debug if needed. Now click the disk icon to save. Then click the play button to test the function. If everything is set up correctly, your Google Sheet will update with data from your Excel file. As you can see, the data in my Excel file sent to the Google Sheets successfully. You can find the link to the sheet and the code in the description. Now for the next, I suggest you to watch this tutorial to become a pro in Google Sheets. Do you have any questions? Ask me in the comments and I will answer all of them. Do you like this video? Please hit the thumbs up and don't forget to subscribe and hit the bell to notify new videos update. As always, thanks for watching. Have a good time.